know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do Holding my breath, on reveling in emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on now Welcome back to another episode of Zola Tank Boys! In this episode, guys, it's all about bounce mushrooms. What makes these mushrooms go nuts? Bounce all these crazy bubbles. Let's let it grow. <laughs> all right, reverse. Okay. Okay, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about all the theories that people think create bounce mushrooms. And we're also gonna show you some of our bounce mushrooms. Let's go! So we do have an orange filter on here so the camera can really capture the colors. So I have one of my biohazard mushrooms down here and I got them as a little, little booger. So I'm gonna grab my Reef Safe tongs and I'm gonna pick this up because I really want us to get a good look at this shroom. Damn, Oops. boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy! That's a thick ass bar! Damn! So, one of the theories as to what makes these mushrooms bounce, it's pretty simple, is the LED lights. So in the wild, these mushrooms aren't exposed to these type of lights. Now guys, this is a three inch plug, so just to give you some perspective, that's a, that's a thick old boy! You know, so, look at these lights. These are the AI Primes, now, Radeons, most LEDs, this is one of the theories, guys, that when these mushrooms are exposed to these type of lights, it creates these tumors or these irregularities in the shroom. One thing to think about is how we react to LED lights. It's not good for us, right? So that's one theory. Um, leave a comment below if there's a scientific answer or a reason as to concrete as to why this is. But I've noticed that some of these shrooms, if you look up here, that little frag rack, I put that Mardi Gras, and that TSA, Top Shelf Aquatics, I believe that's the Infinity Gauntlet Shroom. And look how many bubbles that Mardi Gras has. And it did not have those bubbles. Shout out to Monique from Saltwater Chronicles on Instagram. She gave me that as a baby and it had no bubbles. And I put it under the AI Primes and I even put it on a frag rack, guys. And you can see all the bubbles. Now, something that's pretty cool next to it is the TSA uh, Gauntlet Shroom. Now, that one recently split and I want to show you the bubble. Gauntlet shroom, and it recently split. The mother is this one up here that you just saw, that one on the frag rack. So look at this one. There, you can see that huge bounce bubble that wasn't there before. So I'm hoping this guy gets really ugly, but that bubble was never there. So that's one theory as to what makes these mushrooms bounce, is the LEDs. Now, I also feed my mushrooms uh, krill, Mice is reefroids to get them super fat. And there you can get a really good look at that bounce bubble, guys. So, but this all started the, the craze with mushrooms and, um, you know, all these different strands, from my understanding, started with the Worldwide Coral's OG bounce mushroom. And that is probably my prized possession in here. Now, I do love my radioactive bounce, but I think my OG is my favorite. When I got him, he didn't even have a bubble on him. He was a little speck. I paid a whole bunch of money, and it was honestly in some... Me and Hector went in the middle of the night to, like, this random trailer, and the guy was selling corals out of it. It was the craziest thing. But, guys, in a matter of a year and a half, not even two years, that thing has exploded. So the floor went back on. Let me turn it off. And then I'll show you what this beast looks like. Now, mind you guys, this shroom was in my frag system in my office, which we will take a look at, not in this video, but soon. So he's still getting acclimated to this tank again. But I'm going to show you what he looks like. Come around. Come this way. Because I'm not left-handed. There he is. And I'm going to bring this up. Let's take a good look at this guy. That is the OG 
bounce mushroom. That's what started it all, guys. And from my understanding, it was, wasn't it like a mistake or something? They had it and it ended up doing these really cool patterns. Yeah. And this guy, he hates flow. So it took me a long time to find a good spot for him. And by long time, I'm talking like literally last week, I was able to find a spot for him here. But look at the colors. You see the yellows, the greens. Um, and I think that's why it's called the OG bounce mushroom because that was the very first one. So him, I feed the, sh the, the food, the mice, the reefroids inside his mouth. Um, and he, I mean, he eats it up. Now he, his bubbles are so big, it's kind of hard for him to kind of get them together. Um, now I will say this guys, and this is where it's super, super weird. Before I had this one, I had another booger, uh, bounce mushroom, and it had more bubbles than this one. And I put him in a spot where he didn't get a lot of light and Hector can attest to this. What happened to the mushroom? The lost bubbles. all the bubbles on there and it just... It literally lost all the bubbles, so... It looked like a rhodactus. Yeah, so it, it kind of healed and, and we were super disappointed. So leave a comment below if that's ever happened to you guys, but what do you think? What makes these mushrooms bounce? I think, of course, is the lights. Um, they kind of freak out to them. Um, me personally, the typical mushrooms, you want to put them in the bottom in the corner with not a lot of light. But these OGs and these bounce mushrooms, I always put them where there's a lot of light and they've always done well. I mean, if you guys take a look, he's got the Mardi Gras shrooms right up top. I mean, they're getting direct sun. I mean, direct light. So, and look at them. They're doing great. Let me, so, up. so guys, okay. So this one here that I'm going to show you next, we picked it up at a local reefer. He sold us a rock, right? And it had regular shrooms. And even if, if you've been following Zoa Tink Boy since day one, you'll remember we called this one the, what was it, the Infinity Gauntlet? I think it was some weird name. Yeah. Um, and it's starting to bounce. And I think it's because we've had it in the LEDs for such a long time. It was actually an experiment that we did for a long time. Look at this. You Look see those bubbles, those guys? Bubbles. It also created a yellow rim, which it didn't have before. Yeah, when we first got it, it didn't have a yellow rim. It was more of like a dark, dark reddish rim. Um, but look at, look at the rim on this. Look at the skirt on that. So I think it's safe to say, again, guys, I'm not a scientist. I'm a reefer just like you. But based on the homework that I've done, I think it's fair to say, guys, that the LEDs really do cook these mushrooms up. So we're going to keep cooking them, guys. Follow us on Instagram so you can see the journey of that shroom. But I think it's safe to say those LEDs are what gets it going. All right, Reefers, and that's the end of this video. If you guys like the... Oh my gosh, did I keep thinking subscribe? All right, Reefers, so that's the end of this episode of Zoa Tank Boys. <laughs> what? All right, Reefers, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. This is the end of the video. You guys have a great day. Hey, right, Reefers, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Zoa, Zoa Tank, Tank Boys. Boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Till next time, Zoa Tank Boys. Ah!